All right, the manager of Ajax, Hikari Mugen, will now take questions. First up, Carlin Graham asks, with Casper Dolberg scoring an amazing hat trick this weekend, big clubs like Barcelona are showing more and more interest in him. What are your plans for Casper's future? Dolberg had a great weekend, but he is still very young and developing. I think he knows that staying at Ajax for the foreseeable future is the best thing for both of us. And honestly, Barcelona shows interest in everyone. So come on. Next question, Hamza Khan asks, after the signing of Adam Milson from your previous club, Gamba Osaka, will you be favoring him up front over Dolberg? Mm. No. Dolberg son is a big star. Hulk17 asks, Ron Van Persie has said he wants to return to Holland before he retires. Would you consider bringing the Flying Dutchman back to Holland as an experienced player like Zlatan for United? Hmm. Robin Van Persie. Very good player. All time goal scorer for the Netherlands. It would be an honor to have him at Ajax. But there are two problems. One, he is an ex Fire Nord player, and I do not know if he would be open to returning to Holland with the arrivals at Ajax. And number two, we have so many good strikers in our team right now. I don't know if RZP could get into this squad. But if he were to retire, I would like to see what his region would look like. Ho 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 ho. Last question, Silent Lord asks, how many seasons will you do at Ajax? Until we are champions of Europe. However many seasons that it will take, I will stay. All right, thank you, Mr. Mugen. Uh, you're free to go. Arigato. Oh, welcome back, you lovely weirdos, to this, the IX FIFA 17 career mode. And guys, 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 I'd like to go ahead and take this opportunity to wish all of you a happy early Thanksgiving, even to you non-Americans. Thank you, man. I'm very thankful for all you guys who've been showing all the major support on this channel. So if you could go ahead, leave a like, you know, it would really help the channel out. And just know, just know that I really appreciate every single one of you guys who view my career mode videos. Now let's go ahead, get into it. We got matches up against 20th uh, CSKA Moscow. I always have problems saying that and a lot of more goodie stuff in this. And two goal of the season contenders. Are they better than a 65 yard Rabona? Probably not, but they're still pretty good. Now you guys went ahead and voted for Hakim Ziyech to be the next player profile, and I think he is the Moroccan Philip Coutinho. Now we're going to go ahead and put their stats side by side on SoFIFA.com, and now that you don't see the names, can you honestly tell me which one is which? Look at the traits, man. They're pretty much identical. The only thing that is really different is Coutinho's a little bit more better in the movement stats. He's the bottom one. I almost forgot. He's a little bit higher in agility and acceleration, and he has four-star skill moves. But if you take a look at free kick accuracy, long shots, shot power, you know, short passing, all of that stuff, vision, this guy has got a cannon, a dynamite left foot. Now watch this. Absolutely doing the defender. Sees the goalkeeper off of his line <laughs> and delivers... A freaking 49 yard strike. Lazy Louisies. Look at these absolute arrows from distance. How are you going to stop this? He's got a dynamite left foot. He's got lead in there in his, in his boots. This time. And he can take on a player much like Coutinho. Absolutely five holing the defender, leaving him in the woods. Look at that man. That man is a man contemplating retirement from life after getting absolutely destroyed. Then going here, doing a couple of step overs. Wow. Wrong footing and crossing over the defender, opening up the space for himself to slot it home. And the strength to hold off a defender literally on his back, turns him and delivers it a beautiful finesse into the bottom right hand corner. And he's got great vision as well over the top balls, which are deadly in this game. As you can see, he's got great vision to pick out the pass. What you want exactly from Kim, delivering a beautiful ball going in for that. Now, this is what I want to see. Beautiful threaded through ball. 
perfectly waited for Casper Dolber to run onto it and deliver it. Now going ahead and helping out his teammate back in his days when he wasn't at Ajax. Having the pace, the turn of pace to get him behind, slotting it in through, and ah, oh, and the four does the rest. And he's a free kick specialist, deadly on specialty balls, linking up with the big bad Bazaar over here, possibly, you know, giving me ideas for set, uh, set piece plays. And he's absolutely deadly from distance, shooting it, uh, you know, his free kicks are absolutely delightful, putting two in from 35 yards plus right there. He really is the cheap Moroccan Coutinho. And I think in many facets, we're going to go ahead and train him up. He could become one of the best cams or deadliest cams in the world if trained properly. And that's what I want to do. Honestly, I'm, film, I'm commentating this after I played the games. And just wow. <laughs> it's like, it's like Ziyech knew that... This was his. This was his. Uh, his episode, and he was like, "I'm a. I'm gonna put on one. I'm gonna put one on right here." And the games that he plays in in this episode, absolutely the most dominant performance I have ever seen from a cam playing FIFA 17. And there we go. The player to watch already has four goals in seven appearances. I don't think we played seven games in the era Eredivisie. I believe we've only played four. So he has as many goals as we have played. 22. Unfortunately, no game face. I know a couple of you guys <laughs> are a little bit of a stickler about that, but he's a handsome man in game right now. As you can see, Onana starting in net. A couple of you guys were asking about that. Onana did get the number one. He's in net. The only real replacement in this side right here is Veltman. And on the right side, replacing, I believe, Kenny Tete. That's just a rotational thing. I just want to get a lot of the youngsters a little bit of playtime. Everything else pretty much set. Dendonker, you know, anchoring the midfield. We're playing a 3-4-3. Going up SC uh, Twinneth, Twinneth. Uh, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but you know a couple of uh, you know names to be looking at. You know, you know, you know, starting up front for them, and a lot of great players have come through. You know, SC Twinneth. I know there are semi, I guess like semi rivals. Don't quote me on that. But now linking up into the middle to Dolberg, and unfortunately Dolberg who netted the hat trick over the weekend. Phenomenal hat trick, by the way. Uh, not not the best work with his left foot right there. No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, look at the pain. The English on the young Danishman. Oh, he was like, why can't I do that? Why can't I do what I do in real life in this game? And then there we go. Klaassen linking up. Almost sneaking one past the keeper. And then Treor finding a bit of space. Good dribbling for him. And Klaassen linking up. Who is on the wing? But the man of the moment. He knew. That's what I'm talking about. To the beat boy dance. Hakim Ziyech, apparently. I, I watched a whole entire video of a Dutch, uh, you know, announcer pronouncing his name. I don't know why you guys do that, but you do the at the end of Ziyech. Ziyech. So uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing it 100% correct. The shoutouts to the one dude who said my pronunciation wasn't that bad. I know you're lying to me to keep me happy. But I love you, baby. <laughs> and now we're going back into it. Up 1-0 through the left foot. The golden left foot, if you will. Of the Moroccan high rude warrior himself. Hakim Ziyech. Now linking up. Can he bag a double? Running into space. Perfectly timed. Casper Dolberg going ahead. And finding the threaded ball. Lovely stuff. I, the, the system that we have right now. The 3-4-3 system. We like Chelsea, man. Once we switch to it, we're dynamite out there. Casper Dolberg turning more of a provider in this system. But what it does is we have Ziyech on, on stay forward and on free roam. He is the key cog. He is the maestro in the final third to get things done to not only score goals, but to actually provide goals. It just happens to be that he wanted to go ahead and get a double <laughs> in the first half of this match. But then after that, things started to slow down. Maybe, you know, the computer or, let's see, you know, Twentieth wanted to go ahead and get something else going on. But it was it was dumb mistakes from me as well. I just tried to throw it out way too quickly. Screams! Absolutely screams off of the crossbar right there. Easily could have let one back in. And it was just sloppy play for me. I don't know. When I was recording this, I'm not going to lie, it was really late at night. I was tired. But sometimes, you know, you when you're tired, you're like, F it. I'm just going to try something a little bit ridiculous. Klaassen 
the El Capitano. Flinging it in from distance, and oh, I wanted that in my heart of hearts to just just nestle into that top right hand corner, but uh, unfortunately, Dream Breakers, Dream Breakers over here just ruining all my fun. But there we go, and uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, I was playing this really late at night, okay? <laughs> I literally, when I did this, I was pointing it, I swear to God, I power pointed it right at the guy right in front of me, and then when it sailed over to Uno, I just like put my controller down and like stared at it. I was like, why did you do this to me? Why, controller? After I've done so well, and look at this, I just want to show a little bit at the end of this. Bailey streaks in, could have gotten his first goal for freaking Ajax, and ZH was like, nope, I'm the only one scoring today, blocks it. Great play, but ZH going ahead getting two goals, phenomenal play from him. Assist from Klaassen and Dolberg. And uh, good stuff, getting man of the match after being profiled, showing what he can do with that dynamite left foot of his. Good domination from us, almost 60% of possession. More shots on target, more shots. Uh, you know, we do give up an absolutely... I mean, like, EA, why would I want to pass directly to an unmarked striker in my own box? You have intelligent passing for everything else, but for that one, you're like... That's where he wants to, yeah. Like, sir, he's gonna pass it to an unmarked striker with an open net. Don't question him. Let him do it. <laughs> Essentially is what they're saying. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's keep it moving on. In this career mode, we're gonna go ahead and flip over right here, advance it. Now, a lot of you guys have been saying, you know, Champions League, they're not in Champions League this year. So the punishment, and I like what a lot of you guys have been saying in the comment section, the punishment for it is I have to play all of Champions League with a second team. So any guy that, you know, is typically in my first team, Scout Honor, um, I cannot play while I'm in the Champions League. First match didn't end so us. We went up against uh, Borussia Dortmund. We got our asses handed to us. Uh, nil three. So we're going this time. We got we got absolutely destroyed playing a four three three. And I'm so we're gonna switch over. We're playing um, CSKA Moscow in this one. You know, a lot of good players. I'm actually very thankful that they don't have Ahmed Musa anymore. More? Excuse me, I had a burp there. But they do have the absolute Godzilla in Lasina Traore. He's like five, he's like six. 20. That's how freaking tall he is. He's an absolute, I think he's the tallest striker in the game, if not one of the tallest players in the game. And there he goes, trying to get something on that boot. So much leverage when you're that tall, when you're actually slamming the boot down. So, good power shot, good parry away from Tim Krul, who's getting a new one in this one. And then Nori sneaking in, much like Ziyech from the last episode. Great vision from Galmedes over there. A lot, a lot of the youngsters in here. Nori, Galmedes, uh, Vanderbeek. By the way, you guys should probably vote. Who should we be profiling? You know, which great new IX gem should we be profiling? Go ahead, vote right here. Yeah, loving it, loving it, y'all, loving it, y'all. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And leave any notes and comments. What would you like to see more of? Do you guys really enjoy the profiling? I think it gives it a nice, you know, twist and gives you a little bit more of an attachment uh, with these kids as well. As we enter into the halftime, up 1-0, up against CSKA Moscow. Can we get a second churning? Going ahead, linking up, gets it taken away, but why did both of our players just stop? If we could have just ran onto that, we easily could have gotten a second. Now Nori goes ahead, cannot be phased by it. Shona going on to the overlap to Isak. Isak into the middle to Cherny! And cannot control it. A odd chest touch. And he was like, oh, I must caress it with my male breasts. And uh, yeah, it does do it. And then, speaking of poor touches, I asked Tim Cruel to clear immediately. He doesn't. Instead, he takes a touch, then tries to clear. It careens right into the path, allowing, allowing the Moscow player to close us down. And calamitous scenes in the back once again. Leading from a poor goalkeeper decision. I mean, you can replay this back, guys. I was, once again, this is a put a controller down moment of like, what are you doing? Control, this is, it was late at night. It was all the same play session. Maybe I was a little bit late to hitting that button, but that was just a terrible touch. But then Nori in the 90th minute could have been a hero, but 
Instead, it might as well be 0-0 zero, zero because it's going to look like a draw for us. Uh, you know, a uh, good little cross to the far post, but we don't really have any tall guys, you know, at our wing positions to really get ahead onto that. And it looked like we were going to hold on, but much like Manchester United over the weekend, we give up a late goal on some stupidity shit. And our Champions League hopes are looking on like right. Noren getting man of the match, netting himself a goal, but disappointing performance. A better performance than getting 3 0 up against Borussia Dortmund, but, you know, let's be honest, Moscow is a strong team, but not as good team. Once again, we do dominate possession. Uh, shots on target and shots were pretty even, though. Just one, one diabolical mistake in the back, and that'll cost you points. We do get on the board, but we pretty much got to win out if we have any hopes of advancing in Champions League. It's not looking all that great. So we turn our focus back to the Eredivisie. Up against El Sos. X. Is it Excelsior? It, in, in English, in American English, we call it Excelsior. <laughs> what am I even? What am I even saying these days? You got me. The Dutch got me so tongue twisted. I can't even pronounce it the normal way that, I, that we pronounce it. Excelsior. Why can I not pronounce Excelsior? It's Excelsior. I'm so confused. It's really late at night, guys. I'm minorly delirious. Well, let's go ahead, let's get into it. Dolberg, you know the normal uh, cats in here, Ziyech going ahead, being the gem in this Infinity Gauntlet that I wield. That is the Ajax team. Can we get something going on here? Uh, Shambolic defending leads to another calamitous mistake, possibly, but Onana is able to get it away. Then Klassen gets powered off of the ball. Onana stretches out, can't get to it, but thankfully far wide. Now Dolberg linking up, pulling in that false nine position that I have him on. Linking up with uh, Dendonker, links up with Ziyech. Ziyech onto the ball. That's... That good sirs. That good sirs. That good sirs was picturesque. Do you remember the scouting reports? Do you saw the scouting videos that I showed you from early in the video? That is... That's it. That is it to a T. We have recreated in virtual reality world exactly what ZH does in real life. Absolute scenes. What was that? Like 35, 37 yards out, left footed, thunderstrike. That's the farthest long shot. No, it isn't. I hit a 65 yard rebound. But it's the, the like legit like long shot with a goalie in net that we actually hit and then we get taken out around the same spot where we powered in <laughs> that long shot and Ziyech is our free kick taker so I thought why not go ahead powered up I was trying you know this is pretty far three bars of power take a bow my son take a bow my son take a bow Ziyech the Moroccan High Rude Warrior! Look at that! Power free kick! Perfection! Oh! Jesus Christ! Two goals over the course of 10 minutes to compete. Two freaking. I'm done! Once again, this is another great moment. Put the controller down, stare at it, and it was like, oh, controller! Controller, controller, you give it to me, and you take it away, and then you give it back to me. It's a love-hate relationship, this FIFA game. And ZH Lillinan, look it up, to the big bad was uh, All right, so it's not, it's not incredible. You can't be incredible all the time, unless your name is Hakan, the Moroccan warrior, ZH. First half, first half hat trick, first 30 minute hat trick, going full on Dolberg. That man, the myth, now legend. He's already a legend. Hakim Ziyech in one of the best performances, the best 30 minutes I have ever seen from a player in all my years of playing FIFA and watching football. Incredible. How are we gonna hold on to him in January? People are gonna be piling over their shoulders to get to us. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Manchester United, all of them are gonna be wanting this kid. And if he plays like this for real life, you know, Ajax, I can see very easily in a couple of years him moving on because everyone's gonna be wanting a piece of this. I don't know how many pieces they want from our back line because once again, 
We're three for three, okay? That's not Onana's fault. It uh, there's not all that much. Maybe I could have done better. I have to do better defending and not let against that position, but that's just that's just FIFA. They were like, you have you've had enough fun now. Our turn. <laughs> but it wasn't all that bad. 80th minute, we're able to calm the game down. We're bringing in Adam Milson, the Brazilian water kid, who hasn't been able to do all too much. Z Edge goes ahead, streaks in, stretch to the back line. Aching legs all torn apart by the 90 pace Brazilian monster himself going ahead and nets himself an easy peasy lemon squeezy goal of Look at that just going in for a nice little strolls. I don't mind if I do I'm gonna go ahead get that and get some barbecue Lovely lovely left footed strike. He's not even left footed and most and finally getting off of his duck good to see for the number 17 and come on guys you were like so you're gonna start in front of Dolberg no no, he can also offers uh, offers us a lot of um, you know diversity. He can also play a little bit of center mid, you know, in our formation because you can't play the left mid or center mid in those left mid positions. And oh na na, what's my name? Oh na na, what's my name? Oh na na, what's my name? What's my name? What's my name? Hakim Ziak is my name. Three goals on three shots. That is that should be the new. That should be the new perfect catcher. You know what I'm saying? Right foot shot, left foot shot, 40 yard screamer, free kick. That should be the new perfect catcher. Take notes, Dolberg. And as you can see right there, Hakim Ziyech getting a perfect 10. He should be getting an 11. That's how good of a, how freaking good he was in this match. Living up to expectations, going beyond the hype. Oh. A lovely magician himself, the crown jewel of Ajax. His name is Thou, Hakim Ziyech. If you want to go ahead and get a tidy little player, get this kid in your crew. Look at this freaking, look at this free kick. Look at it, look at me in the eyes. Look at me, look at me, now look at it. Look at me again, now look at it. I'm delirious right now, but Hak Hakim Ziyech is doing things to my body. It's giving me a, a is giving me just like a hormonal imbalance of joy and ecstasy. Lovely stuff, arrowing from distance. I, I'm in love guys, I'm smitten. I'm absolutely smitten, but enough of me just gargling on. <laughs> ZX's hog. Go ahead, check out the last episode where we went ahead and profiled the Big Bad Bazaar. If you haven't checked it out already, I just released a new video talking about the best young cams that are in the game. And it was a disservice of, on my part for not bringing in ZX. But go ahead, get him. He's the best young camp. High potential camp. You should be getting in Karimo. Anyway, my name is Bebon. So hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself. Stay humble. And be weird. I had happy Thanksgiving, bitches.